Once again it is a cold day. They are so common, I hardly notice a difference anymore. My robes trail at my feet as I walk once again through the desolate city. Everything is grey now. Things were once so vibrant, so full of life, and now only buildings remain in their long, slow process of collapse. And that is the only thing that still holds evidence that time is passing. Yes, the sun rises and sets, but so often it seems like I merely live the same day, over and over. But each day the buildings unperceivably decay a little more, and the only noteworthy events I have seen in many months were the times it rained, and in those times, I merely sit all day long and watch the rain fall. It never fails. I always have enough water remaining from the last time it rained, but new food will never be made. Even so, I have gathered plenty. I have enough canned supplies to last me maybe thirty years, but so often I wonder if it's worth living that long when every day is the same grim march over and over, reflecting on what we all once had and what is now lost forever. I'm alone in this place. I have been here long enough to be sure. I honestly don't know how I'd feel if I ever saw someone again. I have imagined it time and time again, looking up from the dusty soil to see someone staring back at me. In these imaginary encounters, I'm always too surprised to speak. They merely stare back at me, blink, and move on. To where? I don't know. Clouds are gathering once again, and so I start back for my little, whatever it might be called, a habitat of some kind. Definitely not a home. A home is warm. But I have never given it a name. I haven't need to speak one in years. And what need is there for names, when there is no one to speak them to? Perhaps once I was lonely. Perhaps once I had hope. But now, I just am. And that's all I can say. I simply exist. One life in a barren world. And I wonder endlessly what it means to be that life. What is it that I'm supposed to do? Do I have a purpose at all? The rain starts to fall and I watch the bleak display silently before I turn back to the corner and I sigh. Looking at the pile of dusty books, I had tried a long time ago to find all the books in this ruined city and bring them to one place, but there were depressingly few, and they are so old the words have faded. They impart no knowledge, no tale, and only one even has a picture. Some kind of diagram with parts and how they slot together. I miss the old days when there was life. I close my eyes. I once cried in these times. My heart longing endlessly for the return of days past. But now, no longer. I accept what I am. The last life 
in a desolate world. I... I have adjusted. I adjusted long ago. My eyes are closed, and the gloomy rain hardly makes a sound. There is no difference to me between being asleep and being awake. Things are as desolate in my dreams as they are in the world. This is my world, my lonely, empty world. The sunrise was beautiful once. It saddens me now. It just reminds me of everything that once was. The amazing world we took for granted. A paradise we never knew we had. I place my grip around the handles of the wheelbarrow, and I start to walk. I wander endlessly through this world. I have done this for years, and it is simply what I have done for so long that it makes no sense to stop. The wheelbarrow is filled with supplies, mostly. Canned food and plenty of water, but there are also... Artifacts, I call them. They would have been trash in the old world. An anklet, the handle of a mirror, a bristle of a toothbrush. And most special to me, something that would have held value. A Bible. I'm not sure if he still watches us. I'm not sure if he's still there. I don't even know anymore if this is even the same world. But even if they echo over empty air, my prayers give me hope. I imagine sometimes other people, still alive, picking over the ashes of our world. And even though the chances are so small, it makes no sense. I look for them. My heart pulls me on. If they are out there, they must be lonely. And even if I never find them, I will always look. I will never give up. Something is starting to form in the distance. I smile faintly. Such a small smile, no one would ever see it. And I walk the tiniest bit faster. Buildings are in the distance, and the clouds are coming in. But I will reach this room before they come. I have been to others. They are all different and yet so incredibly the same. I don't know why the whole world is grey. I don't know why the clouds are always looming. I don't know why I never tire of my endless march. But still, I go on. I think about what I might say sometimes if I find another person. I would be happy. I'm sure of that. Would I say something? Would I run forward and hug them? Would I cry? I try not to think about it. If that moment ever happens, I want it to be the happiest, most pure, most awe-inspiring moment of my whole life. I don't dare tarnish that moment, imagining how it might, or should, occur. The buildings are close now. In just a few moments, I will be standing in the ruins of another town. I wonder sometimes if I will ever find an umbrella. If I did, would I want it? The rain is the only difference from the ever-turning cycle of the sun and stars. The only noticeable moment in this ever-turning clock. Time is certainly slower than it was in the old days, but we experience it much faster. Every tick, every passing minute. So many thousands of hours don't mean a thing. As I go about my endless search, I hope, my God, that someday I will find somebody. And if someone is out there, he will send me their way. I don't know if you still watch us, but still I will pray. Even if the words echo forever, if they sink under stones or they fade in the air, then still they are spoken. And now, here I stand, in the midst of the ruins. I don't know why, but I get to my knees, and look up to the sky. 
I want to sing, but memory of all songs faded long ago. And so I just sit there, my arms to the sky. I don't know how long I was there. I don't know how long I wished for a melody, but the rain started to fall. I get up and steer the wheelbarrow again. I walk towards the closest building. It has been so long since I watched the rain from a place that could not touch me. I turn a corner and start to walk under the cover of a half-crumbled building. I stare. There's someone here. My search is finally over. I opened my eyes, and there she was. She can't believe what she's seeing. I do not know what to do. I don't know what it will matter. She is standing there. We watch each other for hours. Hello. She says. He says. Hello. 